way they can stay accountable and up to date on what activities need to be completed for each subject. You as the teacher can see what they've completed throughout the week. You can easily add this to your canvases, your Google Classrooms, and also your Schoology, any LMS that you are using. And you can even just email this to parents so parents can stay up to date on what is having to be completed. So the first thing you're gonna do is go and open up a new Google Sheets. So you'll go to your Google Drive, go to new and hit Google Sheets, and then this will pop up. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is merge your cells. Just like I have in this example, I have these cells merged. That way I can have my cute little banners at the top for each subject. So to merge your cells, you're going to, um, I only merged two cells, so two rows, or yeah, two columns, and I merged four rows together. So I merged two to five. I left one blank because that's where I'm gonna put my name. So what you do is you just highlight the two rows, and then you go down to the columns, so that way you have like a um, an eight box right there. Then over here where you have your merge cells, all you're gonna do is click on merge cells and it merges your cells, okay? So you're gonna do this for all five subjects. So that way it merges it, so that way you can put your picture in that you create and I'll show you how to create those as well, okay? So now I have my five merged cells. Now I wanna get my name, just like I had in my example, I wanna get this merged as well. So what you're gonna do to do that is we left this one blank. And so you're just gonna highlight all the way across and hit merge cell again. So now that is one is merged as well. And then to type inside, you can just double click inside of your cell and type name. And you can change the color, the font, the size of the name. It doesn't matter however you wanna do it. Now to get the images for your math reading science like i had in my example right here how to get those is you're going to go and open up powerpoint i like powerpoint because it has a lot more options for if you if you download a font from teachers pay teachers you can have those fonts actually in google activities because google does not allow those cute fonts so that way you can create your fonts in a powerpoint and then just snippet them so I'm just gonna type in math. And my favorite font is from the Perfect Blend. So PB fonts, if you look her up on Teachers Pay Teachers, she's phenomenal. So I'm copy, I'm, I made this font PB Coffee First. And I'm gonna make it bigger, okay? I can change the color however I want. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a snipping tool so by going down to the bottom right, right here on your computer and just typing in snipping tool, clicking new on your snipping tool and just snippeting that image. Then you're gonna right click the image and copy it. Then you'll go back into your weekly checklist and you'll hit control V to paste. Now you're gonna wanna make it smaller so that way you have it smaller just like that. Okay, and then you'll put those in. So that's how you do it for all of your subjects, okay? Now to get on my example, to get the boxes colored on the activities and also for the completes, you're just gonna go and you're gonna click on the underneath cell, double click it and you can type in activity, okay? Now I'm gonna click on the activity where I just typed in I'm gonna change the fill color, or I'm gonna change it to bold. I can change this, okay? And then you can change your fill color to whatever color you want, and it fills it to whatever. And then you can literally just Control C to copy that, and you can copy that on all of the ones that you needed the activity. So they're all exactly the same, okay? Now the next one, you're going to do complete, complete it, okay? Do the same thing. You can fill the color with that one. You can change the font. You can change the boldness. You can change the size, however you want, okay? And then you're just going to copy, control C, copy that one to all of the ones as well that you need, okay? 
So now I have my activity and my completed. Now I need to show you how to get these check boxes in here for your students to just click. So I'm just gonna highlight underneath completed, I'm just gonna highlight a couple of rows. Then you're gonna go up to insert and you're gonna go to checkbox and see how they just did the checkboxes right there for you. So now kids could just click and it makes the checkboxes, okay? Now to duplicate this, you'll just copy control C and you can just go to each one for completed and control V to paste those in. So now you have your completed checklist boxes. So that way the kids can just come in, find the activity they completed and click the checkbox. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you was how to make this black line down the center be thick. So to do that, I'm just gonna click on these two rows. So I'm gonna highlight the row A and the row B, okay? Actually, I'm just gonna highlight the, the math one right here. So this math box, so the merged box. You're gonna go up to these four, it looks like it says borders, but it looks like a window pane. You're gonna click on that, and I just want the top and the right hand side to be colored, thicker. So you're just gonna click on the top one and you're gonna click on the, the bottom, the size. So now do you see how it's black? So I want the border to be a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna click on borders. And over here underneath the color, you can change the color if you want, but underneath it is where you can actually get the thicker border. So now there's my thicker border of my black line. So to do this for the rest of it, you can just highlight your rows and go up to border and I want the side. So now you see that I have this side as the border. And then you can also highlight again the bottom and do the bottom rows and just click the bottom border. So now you have the border. You can even do this by highlighting all the way across and all the way, oops, all the way across, just like this, and doing the bottom one all together. And then you can go through and do all of the ones for your sides and inside of the center. So your end, so your end situ or your end product would look like this with all of your completed tasks, your activities. Here's an example that I have for y'all to see where you can just add in your activities and then kids can come in and just click what they need. It's super simple, super easy to do, and it's easy for the students to know what they have to complete for the week. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye.